Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about uh, the base of the skull. So in general, the skull has three fossae. You've got the anterior cranial fossa, the middle and the posterior cranial fossa. So the skull, it holds the brain. The anterior lobe of the brain, which is the frontal, it goes uh, into the anterior cranial fossa. The temporal lobes go into the middle and the occipital lobes go into the posterior. Okay, we'll speak about each of them in turn, starting with the anterior cranial fossa. You need to remember three things. One, the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. Two, cribriform plate and the crista gali. This is important because the um, first cranial nerve, which is the olfactory nerve, it starts from here. You have the olfactory fibers, the olfactory bulb and the tract. Okay, and the third thing is foramen cecum, which is right here at the top. It is a transit for the emissary vein going into the superior sagittal sinus. Okay, moving on to the middle cranial fossa. Here we've got a mnemonic. You can either go with often, some rays offer some heat, or you can go with something I would go with because it sounds stupid and that's what we remember the most. So only some rabbits obey senior hairs. Okay, so starting with the letters, first you've got only O for optic canal, through which passes the optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery. Sum, which is superior orbital fissure, through it passes the cranial nerve 3, 4, 6, and the first branch, which is V1 of the trigeminal nerve, which is known as the ophthalmic nerve. Rabbits, which is foramen rotundum. V2, the second branch of the trigeminal nerve passes through it the maxillary nerve and you have obey which is o foramen ovale the third branch passes through it which is the mandibular nerve the s is for foramen spinosum which uh, through which passes the middle meningeal artery and finally you've got H and you've got the hiatus for the greater petrosal nerve obviously the greater petrosal nerve passes through it. Okay, there is foramen lacerum, which is not a true foramen because it is not within a bone. It is due to a gap between two bones. Um, but it is quite important because uh, through it passes the emissary veins and small meningeal branches and also the greater petrosal nerve. It can enter from the posterior aspect and it joins with the deep petrosal nerve later on. And there is one more, the carotid canal, which is just an inlet for the internal carotid artery. So, once again, let's go together. So, you have only some rabbits obey senior hairs. So, optic canal, superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, and hiatus of the greater petrosal nerve. Okay, moving on to the posterior cranial fossa, a mnemonic is I just had macaroni. Okay, I is for internal acoustic meatus, through which passes the cranial nerve 7 and 8. Then you have just, which is J, for jugular foramen, through which passes the cranial nerves 9, 10 and 11. Hand, which is H, which is for the hypoglossal canal, which is for the cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve. And finally you have foramen magnum through which parts the cranial nerve 11 and vertebral arteries. The last thing you need to remember is the internal occipital crest. Here is where the basque cerebelli, which is the division between both the cerebral hemispheres, is going to lie. Okay guys, let's go through what we have learned today. So number one is the optic canal. Number two is the superior orbital fissure. Number three is foramen rotundum. Number four is foramen ovale. Number five is the internal acoustic meatus. Number six is the jugular foramen. Number seven, foramen magnum. Number eight, hypoglossal canal. Number nine, carotid canal. Number 10, foramen spinosum. And number 11, the cribriform plate. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.